Great day for an Alberta road trip, everybody. Come take a ride with us as we road trip down Highway 53 east of Edmonton, Alberta. We stop over in Donalda, Meeting Creek, and Forsberg to see some historic Canadian railway buildings. Then we made our way through the Battle River Badlands to spend the night at Big Knife Provincial Park. We paddled along the Big Knife Creek, the Battle River, in our 17-foot Clipper Cascade canoe. Then we made one last stop at the Diplomat Mine interpretive site before heading home. Longhorns. What you doing? Are you on the old train tracks? Ready. Pretty cool little place. What are you doing? Are you on the train tracks? Are you on the train tracks? How those have changed, hey? Mm -hmm. the this is the type of town you need to live in when the tractors just use the main street. Pretty awesome to me, I think. These little treasures all over Alberta. I love this kind of stuff. So that's it guys, the world's large soil lamp. <laughs> that's the top of the oil lamp. Ugh. Got some paintings in here. <laughs> kind of cool. Actually, I shouldn't say kind of. It's pretty cool. I like things like this. All the donations, uh, $500 a piece per plaque. And it's what contributed to uh, building this, I want to keep saying lighthouse, but it's an oil lamp. And somewhere in Donelda is the largest, world's largest collection of oil lamps. I don't think we'll have time to check it out today, but... Anyone know what a locker plant is? Look at those formations. Carved out by wind and water and glaciers from millions of years ago. Just another stop over at the Diplomat Mine interpretive site.
little interpretive center with all the old mining equipment from the 1920s. Um, back in 1927 when this was used, it was actually the largest piece of machinery uh, for mining in the world back in 1926 or 27. There's no real way to show you guys how big this machinery actually is. It's huge. Like, look at the size of that bucket. Like, look at the size of this bucket, too. And this is one of the smaller ones. Look at you guys. That's a big bucket. You a digging? You a miner? Did you go? Look at all the sand you dug up. Anyone that says Alberta is just all prairies obviously has never traveled Alberta because there is tons of beautiful little coolies and badland areas. I truly believe we have one of the greatest provinces because we have a mixture of everything. Our little walk-in tending site at Big Knife Provincial Park. Uh, fingers crossed. I don't know what the chances are of us being the only ones down here, but so far we are. So we would have did a time lapse of us setting everything up, but if you'd like us to see in the equipment we use, you could go watch our William A. Schweitzer Provincial Park video. Got some cows hanging out along the riverside. And this is what we're paddling today, guys. Battle River. It's um, the Battle River meets the Big Knife Creek, and because of the dam, it's not much of a river, but there is still a little bit of a current. Paddle helping mommy? That's how you paddle. glass and if I zoom in way up there there is supposed to be some hoodoos hiking up in there so we might uh we might head up into that later any guesses on what that is should we go see <laughs> you scared of a beaver or a weasel it's like a gopher or a weasel muskrat
What a beautiful little valley. It's so peaceful, not a single person here. We saw one other boat getting off uh, the river when we got in. Little MSR pocket. Garbages. This is the walk-in tenting of Big Knife uh, Provincial Park. Mm. Fettuccine, tortellini, chicken, and uh, beans. Veronica's just munching on her cheese. But yeah, that's Big Knife Creek. Well, it sounds like there's a water. Yeah. Holy, like a speed demon. Fire on. I know. So we're out at Big Knife Provincial Park. The um, RV trailer loop filled up quite fast. We are in the walk-in tenting and there's nobody that way. And there's one small group way over there. Other than that, it is pretty secluded. You can't even see them over there. We got our tent set up. So there is 11 walk-in tenting sites. They are the same cost, $27 per night as the 40 unserviced um, camper sites but hey I don't mind because the walk-in tenting is literally not that much of a walk-in tent. Uh, Big Knife uh, Provincial Park is located on Highway 53 and 855 about 80 to 90 kilometers south of Camrose, Alberta. Um, it is located in the Battle River Badlands uh, and it's a beautiful little spot. It is a beautiful park. Uh, it does, like I said, it does get busy. Uh, first come, first serve. So show up early, get your spot. The tenting was quiet, um, but definitely will be coming back. If you like to paddle, it's a nice little park. Pittsburgh.